No, you can't get so much. How much onus to put on yourself right now, Javon, when you're three and three, and you guys kind of you looking out the schedule, you realize you might be able to make a little run here if everybody's on the same page. Yeah, it's very important we find ourselves and uh, like truly learn from this. And uh, like you said, it could be a really good season. We can go ten and three from this point on and go to a good ball game and just just truly learn from this and um, just take take notes on this. You put a lot of it on yourself to make sure that happens. Oh, for sure. And like as leaders on the team, it's very important to get these guys. And, and stay as one. This is a time where people drift off and, you know, uh, listen to a lot of media, a lot of negative comments from the people's family. You know, everybody that's not playing, so very important to stay within the room. Do you sense that uh, some of the guys in the room are uh, discouraged or starting to drift off? Not starting to drift off, drift off but, I mean, I, I could guess that it's, it's very easy to get discouraged because you just work so hard and don't really expect to lose a lot of games. Um, so. It's kind of very easy to get discouraged. I know as a freshman, I was the same way. So yeah. Where do you find confidence when you're three and three like this? Because you know, where does the team feel confident moving forward when you haven't had as much success as you thought you would? I think the confidence just comes from looking at the game and and like actually understanding that like you had opportunities in the game and you really didn't like lose based off talent or ability. It was more so off of just not doing your assignment. I think. That kind of gives you a little boost and motivation, knowing that you can play those games. Uh, Bama was a great team, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you just sometimes you just you know we play hard. I think it's just um, and that and, and those kind of games you just can't give those teams any kind of breathing room, you know what I'm saying? But they're a really good team. I mean, so how much better has it made you, y'all, going against Bama, and Clemson like that early in the season? Yeah, I mean that's from it made us a lot better. You know, I think that we're gonna see now. I think that it's very important to understand we play the top two teams and. The only benefit out of this we can get from it is learn from it and, you know, make these next games. It should be a lot, you know, not, I wouldn't say easier, but, you know, you're not playing the top two teams in the nation anymore. But, you know, hats off to them, and I hope, I'm hoping that we learn from this uh, experience. Consistency has kind of been the theme of, or lack there of consistency. So, I mean, why hasn't it been there, and how do you become more consistent? Um, Starts in practice. I think that a lot of mistakes we made just – I can guarantee you that they came from on the practice field. You probably see us doing the same things on practice. Coach, uh, coach harps on that a lot. So um, I think it's very important to practice great habits in practice so we can come on the field and do it. It doesn't start on Saturday. It starts on Monday. Do you feel like y'all corrected any of those mistakes that y'all been talking about in that game last week? Uh, from well, y'all been talking about the last couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Correct mistakes. Yeah. Correct mistakes. Do you feel like in that game against Alabama that y'all are able to correct some of those? Um, we started off pretty strong offensively. I felt like uh, came in, kind of put our foot down. I think that we didn't we didn't score one time in the red zone. You know, we have a bunch of offensive goals we didn't complete, but I think that with every game you have mistakes. But I think that just um, taking the good and bad from each game. You know, we did correct some mistakes. We just didn't correct all the mistakes. And you never really have you never have like a perfect game, but you want to just play your best and play uh, extremely hard on each play. But I know, I know y'all are roommates. Uh, Kellen ran the ball a lot more this week. Did he come home a little bit more sore from some of those hits he took? It seemed like he, he took some some pretty uh, stiff ones on some of those runs. Yeah, I mean he's always sore. Cause he's always banged <laughs> up and stuff like that because he plays pretty um, pretty hard. But Kellen's pretty tough though, so he doesn't really talk about it a lot. He just on to the next one. Can, can you tell about how he walks in the, the room or walks walks around the house nah. that he's uh, he's feeling a little bit more? No, nah, I've been just, I'm so used to it now. Like, we just, not like, not any shade thrown, but it's just like so used to him just being sore after a game. We're all kind of sore, just banged up. I think he's missed maybe one play yeah. ever. I mean, yeah. What, what's the key to his durability? He's tough. I mean, I'm not saying he's always like the healthiest, but he's just, like even this past game, he got hit one time and he, he got back up and I was just like, dang, like, I don't know if I would've got back up after that one, but. He's tough, man. I had to, hats off to kill him. Uh, I know he's the quarterback, so it's always on his shoulders. But, yeah. man, he can't run it right now. I mean, it literally every play seems like it goes through number 11. How is he How is he taking that? Obviously uh, pretty well. He's playing well. Yeah, Kellen, I mean, like I said, Kellen's really tough. You know, it's hard to break Kellen mentally. You know, he went through a lot of adversity growing up in high school, freshman year here. I mean, he's just tough. His dad's a military guy. So, I mean, I think that he's just – everything he's went through has just groomed him to this point. And I think that he's uh, – he doesn't really feel pressure, but I think it's very important for him to just take that leadership role and just make sure other guys don't feel pressure. You came in as a freshman and made a big impact. So uh, I wonder what's your thoughts about what you're seeing from Jalen Widermeyer that looks like he's coming in as a freshman and doing some similar things. I told him, I mean, I've, I've never seen a guy come in and adapt so quickly to like the, the, the speed of the game and, and just being able to 
run routes as being that big guy. He's like 255 running routes, like a receiver. He understands how to attack guys' leverages and stuff like that that you don't really pick up till later in your game. But, you know, he came in the summer. He didn't come in early, so I really always uh, tip my hat off to him. But I want him to understand that you can be a, a dominant player freshman year. It isn't, there's, no age, there's no age on being a dominant player, you know what I'm saying? That, so I always get uh, – I'm very hard on him, you know what I'm saying? I, I see a lot of him potential-wise and want to be great, but he's going to be a great player. So like, some of you and him? Some of me? Yeah, I mean, you see some similarities between the two? <laughs> But other than size, I mean, obviously. He's very mature on the field. I would say I think that's one thing I came here with. When, they get, when, when it's time to play, he, he's very serious, but he's very technical and very – I think that me and him share some – he's very serious on his technique and craft. So, yeah, I do actually. You guys are having a hard time running the football. Does that put a little bit more responsibility or pressure on the receivers because you haven't run it so well? Um, I think that it's important to balance sure. passing or – um, running, but I think that we knew that you know in these type of games you're gonna make contested catches and get open. It's not mm -hmm. about not running the ball, but I think any game you gotta pass the ball. So we don't look at it like that. We just try to mm -hmm. make the plays when the player when our numbers call it. Jamon, what Jamon, how doing right now, Jamon? How important is it? You saw Jace do a lot of vertical stuff, and it seems like for Jimbo's offense to be as good as it can be, you gotta have the tight end doing those things. Yeah, I mean he's playing he's playing his tail off right now. I think that. You know, any offense with a tight end, a dominant tight end, is very hard to scheme against. Uh, it takes pressure off with the receivers and everybody else, so that just gives somebody to, uh, to key somebody else on the field. The John, how close do you guys feel to flipping the switch and kind of writing the ship after six games? Man, we're right there. I know it seems like oh, over and over, just come, like, I keep saying the same thing, but you know, sometimes it just takes that. You never know. Like Coach says, some teams are not like national championship teams. They're just, it's very important to, to reach your maximum potential whatever that is and uh, whatever it may be. So I'm just really excited to see how we're going to take this. And uh, we're really close, though, you know. Just keep pushing, keep fighting for those inches. Well, kind of piggybacking off of that, I mean, the games against Clemson and Auburn, offense stalled, there were periods of time. You guys had a couple of three and outs, but for the most part, you were able to move the ball fairly well. So, I mean, did you feel that on the field? Did uh, you feel like the offense was clicking better? Yeah, I mean, like, we just, like I said, like, we never really are, you know, it seems cliche to say, but you never really just, Seeing as being just stopped in terms of uh, we can't like we can't do our job. It's just we're, we're not we're just choosing not to do it. And I think that um, you know the, the more times we can get off the field with no penalties and no self-inflicted wounds, you're going to see a lot of, of us moving the ball. And we didn't put it in the, in the red zone sometimes, but I think that we're able to do what we want to do. We got to just have more detail and um, attention to detail and focus on execution. It's Thirty. All right, thanks, Jamal. Oh. Appreciate it. <laughs>